Ziggurat 2 came out of nowhere in early access back in August, I believe. I had to put it on hold, didn't really have time for it up until a few days ago when uh, Steam via its news informed me that it just got a new update. I was curious, jumped right in, and I just never wanted to leave. For centuries, this hidden wizard order has protected the whole land. In order to join the Brotherhood, applicants had to survive the Ziggurat. A gigantic prison for creatures too strong to be destroyed. Well polished in all aspects, to the point where I feel like I'm not playing an early access, but a finished version. Secret 2 for me felt like the most satisfying game of the year. Didn't say the best game of the year, best graphics, best single player or any of that. Just the most satisfying. I turn my brain off and aim with my mouse. Found myself not being able to play Age of Empires 4 even though I wanted to make a review for that game because at the end of the day after work and school I'm just tired and I can't really think, can't really focus. Ziggurat 2 helped me relax by not thinking about it, just doing it. And it felt so good. I don't drink coffee, but if I would, drinking a cup of Ziggurat 2 be that dose of coffee when you need it the most when you're tired. That makes many sense. It keeps you awake just enough for you to have fun. And speaking of which, fun factor is pretty strong. On your screen, you get to fight demon looking like carrots, a bunch of metal robots as bad guys. It's a silly bunch of enemies that just add up to the fun factor. And instead of the regular assault rifle, you get a wand. And shooting never felt so satisfying. Didn't really find any glitches, no bugs, steady frame rate even at max settings, engaging boss fights, randomized passive skills that you get to acquire on each level, a few new weapons like for example the staff which replaces the SMG or a magic orb replacing the traditional grenade launcher. You get to level up your character and let's not forget about the anvil. It serves as you can upgrade your weapon, some sort of a blacksmith style version. Plus, very important, along the way you get to unlock new characters. You get two of them straight off the bat, a male and a female, but as you progress in the story you get to unlock more for diversity I guess. All of this, all of this, how can it feel like an early access game? It really doesn't. And the bigger question, if this is an early access, I mean, how much do they have to add? How much more are they going to bring to the table when it's going to be finished? But I highly recommend you picking this up right now. Don't wait for it to be finished. I guess it's good enough for the money at least. The price is kind of low and the fun is high. <laughs> That was silly, but you know what I'm trying to say. It's a pretty good looking game as well, as you can see. The enemies are silly looking and that just boosts the fun factor. For the money you're looking at, roughly around 5 hours of fun time. And don't forget, because it's an early access, they're gonna add more. This reminds me a bit of Gunfire Reborn, except you get to shoot as a major wizard and there's no co-op multiplayer unfortunately don't think ziggurat 2 is ever gonna get a multiplayer version this would have been very fun experience with a friend who knows maybe one day i really want to keep it short let the gameplay speak for itself i'm glad i played this game and had to talk about it it's all about spreading the word and i mean i mean everybody's complaining about the new battlefield they're kind of hating and criticizing a lot of the new Call of Duty Vanguard. It really feels like now more than ever, we kind of look up to indie games to brighten our days. Ziggurat 2 for me, it really works. And I think it might work for you as well if you give it a shot. My name is Rakashu. Thank you so much for watching. Happy gaming.